All right, good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to show a little bit of how I use insights in my day-to-day -day job uh, running Kubernetes clusters internally at uh, Fairwinds. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to insights. Um, I'm already in the organization that I normally use, which is our internal operations uh, research and development cluster. I've got an ops production cluster. Um, usually the first thing I do is go take a look at the action items. And uh, today, I'm gonna just see. Um, I'm gonna see what's out of date. Um, take a look at what things might need to be updated. So it looks like we have a few of these. Um, looks like Cert Manager, External DNS, our own internal tool, RBAC Manager has some updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at a couple of these. So I'm gonna assign the uh, RBAC Manager one to myself. Let's see. Oh, metric server. That's a nice, easy thing to get upgraded. Um, go ahead and... Oh, that's already assigned to me. That's great. Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, clean a couple of these up. So, I have my course YAML, which is a Reckoner course YAML. I'm going to find metric server. We need to update that to 5.5.2. Um... Uh, what else do we have? I said uh, external DNS. We can go ahead and update to 483. Now, these these particular chart changes I kind of know are already safe because uh, I've done these in other places, but uh, normally I wouldn't be doing this without going and checking the release notes. So let's uh, plot course YAML and let's go external DNS. So this is just going to run the helm upgrade command for these different charts. Um, and get those updating. And then another one that I want to get updated is cert manager because that 15.2 to 1.2.0 upgrade is very safe as well. So once we're done with that one. Um, so that'll take care of some of my updates here. Oh, VPA, that's a chart that we... Uh, that we maintain as well. So go ahead and get that updated. Running the Helm upgrade up here. What do we got? Um, so at some point we'll go ahead and look and see. Hopefully these should pop away and go away as fixed once I get them updated. And then while that's running, I'm just going to take a look and let's do some security looking. Let's see. Um, let's see which containers are running as root. That's usually a fairly easy thing to knock out and get out of the way. Some of our internal tooling, some cube system stuff. So daemon sets are going to have the cube system calico daemon sets are going to have to run as root. So I'm going to grab those and say that's working as intended. We don't need to worry about those. Uh, um, let's look, just kind of poke through some of this stuff. Metric server run as none. Oh, metric server runs as root. I wonder if that's necessary. Let's go take a look at the metric server chart. This one here, oh, our upgrade finished here. So I'm also going to update VPA, which we talked about. I'll go back and filter by Nova, namespace, VPA. That one needs to go to 0.2.3. Oh, that's not the chart. There's the chart. There's our version 0.2.2. Let's since let's update that to 0.2.3. And then the other one was cert manager. That's 1.2.0, I think. Let's find this one. Cert manager 1.2.0. All right, let's update both of those things. 
go take a look at the metric server chart. Um, we're looking for a security context. Oh, looks like they don't expose that for us. Um, all right, we'll go take a look at the chart itself, see if maybe that's something we can fix. Um, that's the source for metric server. We actually want the source for the chart. Nope, that's not the source for the chart either. There's the chart source. All right, templates. We're going to look in the deployment, see if we can find a security context to find here. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a commit here that says add probe security context and config. So pod security context was enabled in a commit yesterday. All right, so I'm probably going to have to wait for a release. Um, before I can get that added. Um, all right. Cool. Well, let's go take a look. So I'll put that on my, I'm going to go find that one and assign it to myself and find um, find that uh, Action item for root in the metric server namespace. This one, I'm going to assign it to myself and then um, at some, I mean, if I wanted to, I could create a GitHub ticket, but I'm not going to do that. So that way I can come back and uh, check on this once that chart gets released and see if I can update that security context. Um, so let's go back to our Nova report. And hopefully some of our uh, stuff here starts to get resolved. That'll that'll happen on the next run of Insights, or I could go kick it off manually. But that's a really brief example of how I use Insights on a day to day. If I just did this for you know 15, 20 minutes every day, cleared out a few action items, I probably have a ton of um, just little fixes, great great security stuff that I could add uh, later on. So thanks for listening.